Next Generation EU, also known as the COVID Recovery Fund, a new fund that is supposed to help member states recover after COVID, but is costing an over staggering 800 and billion euros. How is this money spent? We're going to discuss it today with John of Wanningen. He is advisor to Michiel Hogeveen from JA21 at the ECR in European Parliament. He's also on the ballot for JA21 for the upcoming elections, and he wrote two books on the euro. John, welcome. Thank you for being here. Nice to meet you, Ms. Karoleva. <laughs> so today, let's get started with the questions. So, Jean, the member states are on the receiving end of this fund, but how are they actually spending this money that they're receiving? <laughs> well, they have very much difficulty to spend the money because they don't know how to spend it. Um, let's, let's take, for instance, Italy. Um, they want to spend the money on uh, the renovation and, 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 and build of circle stations, uh, decor centers, and so on. Um, and also, uh, the money is uh, used, for example, by the mob to uh, to bribe officials, um, to use artificial artificial intelligence to produce uh, false claims, and so on. So it's a mess. And in France, they use it to support their own businesses. Um, only a very small percentage of the money goes to healthcare. Hmm. Yeah, because there was also a uh, scandal that came out. It turns out that there were there was a criminal organization that was setting up companies throughout the whole Not. of Europe, and they got six hundred and fifty million yeah. worth of value that was confiscated by the police because it was all paid with money that they received of the funds with of the COVID funds. So it makes one wonder who is actually benefiting from this COVID recovery fund? Yeah, well, <laughs> the, the thing is that um, the prosecutors found that almost a quarter of all projects were frauded in Italy, a, a quarter, one out of four. Um, it's, of course, very clear who is benefiting here. That's the mob and not the the common uh, citizens. And I think it is generally spoken everywhere the case. Either you take Italy or Spain or France, the, the three largest receivers of defense. The money goes to the government, uh, the, the businesses, but not to the citizens. And this, the, the thing is that the money is also uh, unconditional. Um, and that is important to say because it creates a moral hazard to not to reform uh, the economies and institutions of the weaker member states. And the Corona fund also was not strictly necessary because we already have the ESM, you know, European Stability Mechanism. But that is conditionally uh, money. And uh, countries like Italy, didn't want to uh, to use the ESM because it was conditions. And therefore, um, we are now under the cover of solidarity um, funding the overdue government deficits of some weaker member, member states. And that is uh, a very bad solution. Yes, because um, I know that you did a very large research yourself on how COVID money is being spent by member states. Uh, you told me you had a very large file on exp how it's expended, for example, by France or with Spain. Could you give us some more details on that, some more concrete examples? Yes, of course. Um, for, uh, for, for example, France. Uh, France is using part of the money to strengthen its own businesses. Um, how do they do that? But by providing uh, directly su subsidies um, and also uh, um, tax benefits. Well, isn't it ironically that we, as a Dutch member state, 
are uh, contributing to the uh, French businesses uh, and in that way, in fact, weaken our own competitiveness. You, you can't make, make it up, can you? Mm -hmm. um, if that is European solidarity, I think that is the wrong way to go. What is important is that weaker uh, member states should reform uh, their economies, strengthen their institutions, um, and not holding their hands for free money. There is no free money. You see? So, these are examples uh, on why this huge fund, in my opinion, um, is not working and will not work. Yeah, because a part of the money that the member states are receiving, a part of it is either a loan or it is also a gift, so it's both. But what happens if member states fail to repay the debt? What will happen? Yeah, that's a good, it's, that's a good question. Um, well, the member states, all the member states, uh, guarantee the, the repayment of the loans. But if the Commission does not have enough um, income to cover the repayment of the loans, then the member states have to step in either by, uh, by increasing the EU budget or and new European taxes. It's either way, you see. Um, and I am afraid that it, it, it goes that way. Mm. A higher budget and probably more European taxes. And then the last question. Several journalists asked at the Commission to get more insight and transparency, which is a cornerstone of democracy, on how this money is being spent. And to remind a lot of people again, a lot of this money is actually taxpayers' money. They refuse to give insight on how those billions are being spent. So it makes one wonder, what is the Commission hiding? What's your take on this, Well, <laughs> well it's just... Oh. Again, a, a, a very good question. Um, as you know, the European Court of Auditors has criticized the Commission uh, for their lack of transparency, not only on this on this front, but um, in general. And yes, uh, the Commission uh, are appointed officials, not chosen politicians. Um, and indeed, um, I, I'm not sure why 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 they are why they are so reluctant uh, about transparency. Probably they they don't know themselves. Uh, they have made conditions, but they cannot control it. They have no control how the money is is spent by the, by the, by the member states. So I think they don't know even themselves. Uh, what is happening with the funds. Um, and because of that, there is also not a supervision, insufficient transparency, and so on. And therefore, again, the ESM should have been used to help um, the, the hard-hit member states to the COVID pandemic and not a new fund like this. Yeah, by the sound of it, the EU does whatever it wants to do and it wants to redistribute, redistribute the money in Europe, which is doing it exactly now with the COVID recovery fund. Thank you so much for sharing all your knowledge and insight with us, Sean, today. And thank you for, for watching.